Greetings and welcome. This is Sherry from Spiritual Magic Journey, and this is your monthly tarot card reading prediction for our lovely sun sign of Leo for the month of March 2023. So for this month, I am using the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck just to get an overview theme card for you lovely Leos and then we're using the Radley Valentine Angel Tarot. Um, get some more information of what's going on this month with you. And we're going to round it off with a postcard from Spirit to get that beautiful message. And I just want to say to please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you're new, subscribe to this channel. Welcome aboard and those that have been with me. Thank you for sticking it out. I do appreciate it. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, that's the only way that this, these videos or my videos will be seen. So, I really do appreciate you guys. And... Happy St. Patrick's Day, and I hope this month is a blessed, blessed month. So let's get started with our lovely Leos. Let's ring our bell. It's spirit in here. Ask my team to step in. To assist me with this reading. And we'll see what messages come through for our lovely Leos. Going on with the Leo. Mm, we've got rounding. Go deep, explore your roots. So this is like grounding, going in within, but also maybe wanting to explore your heritage, your ancestry of where you came from. That may be something that's been on your mind, but I feel like this is really exploring yourself, remembering who you are and the reason this wonderful planet beautiful mother earth to assist in so many different ways really just maybe you haven't been grounding yourself lately uh, maybe you need some time out for yourself so we want to see what other cards come up if i can shuffle these are such big cards guys Barely shuffle these cards. So you need to get out. Go sit beside of a tree. Listen to what the tree has to say. This may be a month of discovering something new about yourself that you didn't even know. We've got the chariot with Archangel Metatron. This page of Earth. We've got the Five of Water. And we got the Four of Air. So yeah, you may need some time out this month for yourself. Maybe to rest and recuperate with this Four of Air. Because maybe you've been going and going and going. Maybe you're feeling under the weather this month. So maybe you need to ground and go within. Also meditation can bring bring you the answers that you seek is what they're sharing with me. Also the chariot with Archangel Metatron. This is all can be important achievement that you've um, accomplished. Um, this can also be self-discipline and willpower. 
because we have the two horses that are black and white more of a balance having a more of a balance in your life this month leo is really going to be important this grounding maybe getting a um having a sacred practice whether that's nature meditation um going on long walks listening to some relaxing music something that's going to be very important for you this month and we've got this uh, right below that we've got the five of water so this is like you're not happy about a scene you're not happy about a certain situation it didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to so something there has come up that's um, that you're just not really happy about there's a little bit of sadness there so it could be a little bit of sadness for you this month. So it's really going to be important that you really listen to your inner inner soul. Did you listen to your soul and your inner guidance that is going to be speaking to you this month? Because I see you still moving forward. There also could be a movement here, change of residence. If you've been thinking about uh, moving, this would be a great time to move. Could also be some travel this month that you have to go and travel but there is some good news coming there is some good news coming so you may be traveling for a vacation when I say to travel or uh, just to take a vacation to get away from everything but there are also some good news coming with this page of earth and it has to do with something with your money so something is changing with your money so whether this be traveling and relocating for a new job uh, finding one that pays more, maybe even starting your own business, but you're planting that seed. It's just now starting um, for you. So if you've been thinking about that, go ahead and do that now this month. Do it now this month. But they're telling me that really brings, um, bring in, call in Archangel Metatron if you need help with anything that is going on with you this month or your team. Your spiritual team and helpers are always there to assist you. So there's something, um, really have that balance. Don't rush in the stuff they're saying. Um, do not rush forward into things. Um, maybe go within and ask those questions, deep questions that you have because you're going to get the answers this month. So it could be a little sadness again, but overall, um, just grounding yourself, drinking more water. This is going to be very important this month. Maybe you're recovering some from some kind of silk sickness or you don't want to run yourself down. You don't want to drain your energy. Maybe you're feeling that drain, so you need to replenish that this month. Okay, so let's see what else the beautiful cards those cards from spirit want to add so really take care of yourself this month I feel like this is going to be all about you and making the choices and decisions that you want to do it's like I'm tired of doing what everyone else wants me to do or people what they think I should be doing you know it's time for me to make those necessary changes in my life to create the happiness and abundance that I want to create you could be getting I just want to throw this out there there could be something new coming into your life also um, maybe you're acquiring a new home or a new car or something on that level but it says, Dearest Wonderful You, to help you manifest the life of for the highest good, we invite you to examine your deepest desires. Wow, does that not relate to what I'm being saying? Go within. Imagine all your desires, no matter what kind, like magic seed pots in a basket, glowing with infinite potential. Look closely at each one. Are you afraid that some may bring you too much attention and invite negative reactions from others? Is change too daunting? Are you afraid to stretch and grow? Let yourself be led forward and let the seeds of positive intention take the wind. Your desires count and you are worthy of them. 
They are essential for co-creating your world. Did you ever consider that when a desire comes from deep within you, it might be spirit moving you to create something beautiful to share with others? Some desires are infused with miraculous powers to move the heart and influence the world in ways you can't possibly know. We know you and love you so deeply and are happy to support you. So, awesome message there. I just love that message. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings, my friends. and Namaste.